Okay, so this corner is a short corner taken from Leicester City last season. Arsenal are defending in zone, and they only send one player out for the short corner. Probably because it was taken quickly and they weren't fully prepared. How do we know they're defending in zone? Because no Leicester City is player is being touched by any Arsenal player. The problem with taking a short corner, and especially a, a quick corner, is that the, the players don't have time to react. When this cross comes in now, you've got nine Arsenal players and eight of those defending in that middle area there. And when the cross comes in, no Leicester City player is being touched and they all make a free run into the box. So that's six Leicester City players who haven't had their run slowed down or blocked. When the ball goes into the back post, Peter Cech comes off his line and leaves loads of space at the back stick. As you can see here, two players are about to enter that zone. And you've got two players at the back post, completely unmarked, who are able to pull the ball back across. Maguire gets a good header back. And you've got three players moving into the six-yard box and vardy around about the penalty area. None of them have been touched or even slowed down, remember. And only one Arsenal defender reacts. Here's another angle. We can see a Leicester City player entering really late into the box and, and entering really quickly. Completely unmarked. No one slows him down. If the ball comes to him there, he's going to win the header because he's got a run up on the Arsenal defenders. And no one reacts going into the box. Like I pointed out before, Vardy there at the penalty spot, completely unmarked. And three runners into the box looking for the pullback. And Peter Cech really shouldn't have come that far out. Here we can see it better. Peter Cech comes really far out. He's never going to get the ball. And it's an easy goal. This is the problem with zonal defending is that second ball, players have got to react and they're not defending zone anymore, they've got to pick up the men. Okay, so this is another goal scored in exactly the same game as the previous one. If we just take a quick look, I'm going to highlight here that there's two Arsenal players this time have come out to the corner, which means one of two things. One, it's harder for Leicester City to take a quick short corner and catch them obviously unprepared and disorganised. Secondly, it's a clever tactic here from Leicester City to send two players to the, the corner. Number 11 looks completely disinterested, but just to make sure, Arsenal have to send two players, because if they take it short, it would be two against one. So it's clever from Leicester City to take two players over to the corner, therefore there's two less Arsenal players in the box. So if we have a look in the box, just around the six-yard box, there's four Arsenal players there, defending in zone. And around about the penalty spot, we've got three Arsenal players. Until they've taken the corner, you don't know whether they're marking man-to-man -man or blocking runners. But as you can see, there's three Arsenal players there and four Leicester City players coming in. So you can presume they're not man-to-man -man marking, because otherwise Arsenal would have to send one of the back four in that six-yard box to pick up a man. So you can suppose that they're going to be blocking runners. Inside the six yard box, we've got Okasaki being man marked, not sure who the defender is. And then, of course, we've got better check. So that's all 11 Arsenal players back defending this corner. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight the Leicester City players. We've got Okasaki, Vardy, Ndidi, Morgan, Maguire, and on the edge of the box, James. And Marlis is going to take the corner left footed. The first thing which I spotted when I looked at this corner was look at the space that James has got on the edge of the box. If Marius just plays a ball through there, no Arsenal player is going to get there and it's a free shot on goal. Anyway, that's not what happens. Instead, I want you to have a look at this one which Ndidi makes across the front of that first Arsenal defender defending zone on the edge of the six-yard box and the way that Vardy just moves into the space just behind him where he vacates it also, Morgan moves into the, the same uh, zone, but we'll see it all from a different angle in a minute, which I think we get a better view of what's happening. Okay, so have a look at uh, the run from Morgan, which is going to suck out the, the Arsenal defender at the near post. The Arsenal defender has to come forward because you, you can't let Morgan get a free header at the near post because it's, it's almost guaranteed to be a goal. So you've got to defend that near post. Now watch Vardy make an unblocked run. That Arsenal player isn't going to block him at all. He's too busy pointing at the, 
get the guy at the edge of the box, which to be honest, I pointed out before, is correct. If they just play a ball through there, he's got free shot on goal. But he's been so distracted by the person on the edge of the box that he actually doesn't do his job, which is to block the runner moving in. So Vardy's going to move into that space just behind the Arsenal defender. And I've just highlighted Okasaki. We don't see it really well in this angle, but he actually blocks the goalkeeper, the defender in front of the goalkeeper, and that player that I've just highlighted there. So he blocks three players at once. I'll show you that in a minute. But let's just run it through. Oh, he's got so much space there to get that free header. Okay. See there? Okasaki just moves in front of Monreal. And he's stopping the number 35 from jumping as well. Vardy gets a free header inside the six-yard box. Okay, so this is the angle which I wanted you all to see. Okasaki here is just going to push that defender back into Petr Cech. It's going to prevent Petr Cech from dominating the six-yard box. And he's then going to pull in front of Monreal and stop him from attacking the space, which the number 23 Welbeck leaves. And Vardy is just going to have a free header. It's absolutely brilliant from Leicester City, to be honest. So he pushes him back into the keeper. Then he's going to move in front of Monreal. And that, there, when he moves in front of Monreal, is what gives Vardy that unchallenged header inside the six-yard box. Petr Cech, like I said, can't come out because he's got now three or four people in front of him. And in the end, it's a pretty simple header from Vardy and a well-deserved and well-worked corner routine to get a goal.